Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. Well, when I talk about saints and dragons, where else but the Chrysler Museum of Art? Am I here with a saint or a dragon? I'll be a saint today. Okay, Seth so Feeman, <laughs> the in interpretation manager for Chrysler Museum of Art. Now, wait a minute. You grab saint. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be the dragon. Does that make you the dragon? <laughs> Megan Douglas, Public Programs Coordinator for the Christ Museum of Art. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Okay, so f what happened to your grandmother's museum? I mean, I, I, in the tease, I said from Ferraris, which was there when I came on board, actually, a long time ago, leather jackets, game, video games, mm -hmm. and now tell me about Saints and Dragons. Well, it's a really exciting show. We have about 160 objects coming. They're on loan from the British Museum in London and the Museum of Russian Icons in Clinton, Massachusetts. And they tell... Uh, Wait a minute. So when you said the Russian icons, I thought you were going to say Moscow. Massachusetts? Yeah, there's, a, there's an incredible collection in Clinton, Massachusetts uh, of, of Russian icons. How did they get here? Uh, there is uh, the founder of that museum, Gordon Langton, uh, was working in, in uh, Russia and started buying objects there. Uh, and then created such a collection that he decided to create a museum. Okay, Seth, when I think of the icon, I think of the Virgin Mary with the, the glow above the head. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a really cool picture of the Virgin Mary with a glow above her head. But it's so much more than that, isn't it? It is so much more than that. And that's a lot that uh, the show gets, gets into that. We'll have a whole room of the Mother of God icons. Uh, but there are a series of saints, uh, a lot of dragons. We have a lot of St. George and the dragon. Uh, St. Nicholas, uh, so things that are a little bit familiar to most people and mm -hmm. uh, things that will be totally new to a lot of our visitors. So what is the most popular character made into an icon? Well, that's, that's a good question. There are over 450 church approved, way, Orthodox church approved ways to create the mother of God. And so some, some might say that her image is the most popular. Okay. Um, but in our show, my, my favorite is uh, St. George and the Dragon. I thought you wanted to be a saint. Well, St. George. Okay. <laughs> Do it, where's the dragon come from? So the dragon, uh, you know, it's interesting. We'll have about uh, seven uh, St. George and the Dragon, dragon depictions over m many hundred years. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see the dragon actually evolving from what was traditionally more of a serpent. Uh, and then with Western influence becomes much more of a dragon, okay. uh, what we think of as a dragon. You've mentioned Western a couple of times, alluded to it the first uh -huh. time. So when you start designing this show as an interpreter, what was your lens? Was it a Western lens? Well, that's what, that's what I know. Uh, so we actually worked, uh, we established an advisory committee. Uh, we had representatives from Greek and Russian Orthodox churches. We had academic advisors come in. I met with them about the content of the show uh, to help us get up to speed uh, with some of the material. Because I grew up with the, 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 the Last Supper kind of paintings, the, mm -hmm. the Jesus, I, I have to say, the one that, whose eyes followed you and those kinds of things. Um, and my first exposure to iconic art was in Macedonia back in 2002. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed on how, the, how even though it was a Soviet, former Soviet bloc, athe uh, atheist, there was, seemed to be this protection of the icons, and they were more than just the pictures of Christ. Yeah, there, one way that's been described to us uh, uh, when you look at them, it's sort of as if looking through a window onto heaven. So they're actually meant to be um, uh, in some way like an intercessor or some way of connecting directly to the divine. Okay, now Megan, when I've come over, like I came to the garden show, I think was the last one, and beautiful pictures. And I could kind of enjoy it at that level of saying, hey, these are gorgeous pictures. But having been over to Macedonia with the icons, so you're going to have some programs that kind of will take you a little deeper? Yeah, we are going to have um, a couple different talks with Father George Basinas from the Annunciation Greek Orthodox okay. Cathedral, and he's going to help us understand how these icons are used um, in the Orthodox faith. So we'll have some programming that um, lets you enjoy the icons and enjoy um, music related to the icons and the culture around it. But we also want to have talks um, to kind of get a little deeper into uh, how the icons are used. Okay, tell me about your favorite than the dragons, or did you get that by default? Um, I got that by default, but I do enjoy it. It's a really, really uh, it's kind of fantastic the dark side, icon. Though, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit, but it's about conquering and overcoming, you know, evil. So it's it's a great, great story. Mm -hmm. One of, one of the other favorites is uh, Saint Neil, who was a saint who uh, was so devout that he he tried to stay awake as long as he could, so he propped himself up on crutches. So we have these little figurines of him standing on crutches so he could be uh, praying around the clock. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta ask you, because you go to the show, it, it's so overwhelming, the, the entire Christ Museum, and it, it just seems like it would, you know, okay, you throw a picture up on the wall, but you don't. I mean, mm -hmm. much more than that goes into it. I, 
How do you begin putting an exhibit together? So with a show like this, where we have an incredible number of objects, about 160, uh, wow. we organized it by theme. Uh, so there's an introductory room that will tell you a little bit how to read an icon, what the significance of them are, to introduce people who are unfamiliar with the material. Mm -hmm. And then you go into a room that are all saints, another room that will be um, all about feast days, another room that's all about images of God, and a final room that's about uh, images of the mother of God. It's a wow. good way to organize it, yeah. Now, do you mix in the dragons with the saints? The dragon, that's all in the saints room, yeah. So that'll be right when you, that'll be soon after you enter the exhibition. I gotta ask you, are you gonna tick off some people with this exhibit, you think? I don't think so. I think, um, I that's think part of, I for, mean, art has that, that public conversation going. I think that there's something for everyone to enjoy, because these, these objects are at once sacred uh, to believers, and they're beautiful works of art. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they'll speak to people on multiple levels. They're, they're fun for kids as well. They'll find things that are interesting. Uh, and I think our traditional art visitors will also find something to enjoy. So it's going to be on the first floor? The first floor in our special exhibition gallery. And it's, it opened the other day, uh -huh. but it's going to be running till it when? It runs until January 10th. Oh, uh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's a long run through the holidays. Uh, it is free, uh, like most of our exhibitions. Excuse me? It's free. Uh, cool. And for more information on any of the programming, you can go to Chrysler.org. So if you want to invite that family down for the holidays, mm -hmm. Tease them with this. That's right. Tell them it costs a fortune, but you'll, put it, you'll pay for it. <laughs> That's right. Because it did cost somebody a fortune. It, well, once and a long time it ago. To us mm -hmm. for free. Now it's for free. Mm -hmm. Oh, these objects, yes, they did, they did cost someone a yeah, fortune. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks a lot for coming out and talking about Saints Thank you. and Dragons. <laughs> okay, I had a blast and ate the best brisk at the Five Points Farm Market that I've ever eaten. Catch it.